Hey, what are you at? My name is Troy and welcome to Facility D20. In today's video, we're going to do a follow-up from the last 3D printing Necron video and we're going to be 3D printing a Necron Doom Sith. This is going to be a fun project. Let's get at it. Okay boys, before I start the project, I want to take a second and say thank you to all my subscribers who came in off of the Wizard Tower build. It's been amazing to see the support. I've got a really cool big time D&D terrain uh, project coming up in the future. You guys don't want to miss that, so make sure you hit the subscribe. But, let's get into it. Let's 3D print this Doom Sith. So I found this file on Thingiverse, and it was in the epic scale, which is 40k epic is really small. So when I downloaded it, it only came in one file, and I had to scale it up by 400%. And I used the flying base here as a reference. Uh, then I rotated it so that it would print in an upward direction. And I printed this in 0.1 millimeter quality with 20% infill, and I generated supports touching the build plate. And this thing took about 24 hours to print and I think it was like just under $3. I also put in a support blocker because I didn't need the supports to print way up the side of this thing. I just needed to basically adhere it to the bed. Just preheating the 3D printer. I'm going to put some gray filament in here, take the brown it, and we're going to start printing and see how this thing comes out. So I was totally out of filament here and I had to change it. So I got a dual filament holder so I decided to put in some gray and brown. I figured uh, gray would be nice to print this in. When I clip this here, I always clip it on a steep angle so that it fits into my extruder a lot easier. And once the color was clear, I was ready to start printing, and there we can see my flying croissant. Just like that. Done. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, let me know in the comments what do you think of 3D printed 40K models. Uh, I would definitely never ever bring this into a GW or something like that, but we're pretty beer and pretzels around here. And uh, me and the boys are pretty cool to play with proxies and 3D printed models. And I kind of just wanted to try my hand at printing another uh, 40K model. This thing was going to run like 75 bucks from GW. And I think with the stand and all, I paid like less than 4 bucks to make this print. Here we go. It's going pretty good. But it looks like I might have a bit of a problem with the hose there. And it's lifting from the supports right there. But I think that overall it's going to print fairly decently so this is a pretty cool time lapse that actually like you can see as it's coming up the sides here it printed real nice had it going overnight and just like that um, my Cylon Raider was ready to roll ready to fly well Doom Sith it's a Doom Sith so I popped it off the bed and uh, brought it over and start cleaning these supports off. I was real happy with this print. It's nice and smooth and clean and neat, as you can see here. Look pretty good. So the thing about these supports, I've tried a few different settings, but uh, the supports in Cura I always find a bit tough to get off. They're really, uh, they really cling on there. I had to use the pliers for a lot of it, especially around the engine compartment here. There were a lot of little nooks and crannies and a few stubborn bits that just wouldn't seem to pull out. Like you can see there, like some of those just clinged on. But once you get them off, they don't usually leave any marks. Had to use a like a narrow pair of clippers even to get in there to get the little chunks out. The X-Acto blade cleaned up a few bits. And then the lighter. And you can see the pile of supports below. Then I took out my file kit, uh, used the flat top file and just cleaned up some of these engine compartments here just to smooth them down from where the supports were grabbing onto them. And there it was, free from supports, nice and clean. So I could probably do a little better quality with my printer, I could drop it down to the fine quality but I didn't want to take the extra like 10 or 12 hours to print it. And I just hit it with some Krylon black primer. Made sure I got in every little nook and cranny here. One nice clean coat. So guys, I think I'm going to paint this up like my Necron um, paint scheme with the color changing Vallejo paints. I'll link it in my video here and you can check it out. Then it was time to print the base. I found this pretty cool one that had the flight stand on it. 
Okay, so a slight problem. I threw the split stand on the printer while I was going to work and when I came back, it printed off pretty nicely, but that oval base is definitely too small. Flight stand looks okay. Hmm, gonna have to try to do something about this. But it was way too small and I had to print another one here. That one run me 50 cents. So I just took the first one that I printed that was a little too small and I just glued it right onto the bottom one. And then I'm going to do my corkboard base. A few parts I had to fix with the misprints, so I mixed up some green stuff to make some hoses. Rolled it out to about the diameter of those hoses, cut off a few bits, and started to stick them in place. This is pretty easy to do, I mean it doesn't take a lot of skill here. I use my sculpting tool to help blend it in and just curve it. but. Um, this is very, very simple repair here, so I wasn't too worried about it. This was the bigger hose that I had to add. And just a little bit around the bottom to make it match the other side. Then I painted them black, of course. And here it is. Finished, primed, and on the base. Looking pretty sharp, I must admit. It was pretty cool, I'm pretty happy with this print. And I got some more stuff coming up in the future I'm gonna print off, maybe some uh, Space Marines next. But this'll look great once it's painted.